This is Nathan from Outdoors Island. This is a swamp fire or an S fire that we've been using to cook today. Just dying out now. It's called a swamp fire or an S fire because it's it's raised off the ground. So swamp being wet or snow being cold and wet. That's the, the heart of the fire. Load of red embers. And that's set in a nice base of soil. A couple of inches, a few inches. soil base wants to be at least twice as big as the fire base and then that is set on a platform of either green slats or wet slats and then you don't want to be using green timber if you can help it because that means normally pulling pulling down live branches. So this is just old, dead timber that's plenty wet. And the slats are suspended on four legs. Little bit of cordage. And you'll also see some cross support beams. It's a big swamp fire. Maybe twice as big as I would normally make. There's a lot of weight on that platform is why I have the support legs, the diagonal support legs you can see, otherwise she's inclined to, inclined to wobble a, a bit too much. What's really important is your four corner legs need to be well, well buried, well hammered into the ground, which is normally fine because if you're dealing with a swamp or dealing with snow the ground is soft, so you can hammer in. And you will notice that the two opposing supports extend upwards. And they allow a ridge pole to hang over the fire. Just bear with me one second. Here's the ridge pole back on that we have been using. So from that ridge pole, you suspend your pots and pans. And that's it.